What's up everyone? Welcome to Drewboy official channel. So this is another watch along episode of the Legends of the Hidden Temple and um, I will be doing a watch along review of the Legends of the Hidden Temple complete episode every Friday at around 8.30 to 9 Eastern Standard Timings and uh, if you're free and interested to watch along with me, please do join the stream and uh, if you want to participate in a voice chat with our expert panel and discuss about the show something that you want to share talk and uh, share your views and opinions you can also be part of it just join the live stream and let me know in the chat and i will have you in the voice chat and uh, yeah um, friday every friday 8 30 pm eastern standard timings do follow the channel like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications so enjoy this episode and uh, see you soon bye bye welcome back to legends david and carissa have proven themselves worthy and now if earn the right to enter Omex Temple, but before they get started, Omex is going to give them some information to help them retrieve that enormous feather. Great, Trulo. Good to see you, man. I'm doing great. You could start by running up the stairs to the crypt. Grab the book from the skeletons. In their defense, they're like 11 years old. I don't know many 11 years who know Asian geography. Yeah. Give it to them. Let's give it to them. To find the key that will lead you into the chamber of the sacred marvel. Chamber of Sacred Markers, the one room that I hate the most. And pass into the room of the ancient warriors. Place yourself in the correct armor and open the door to the shrine of the silver monkey. Shrine of the silver monkey. And you may be headed toward the room of the secret password. Secret password. Find the tablet with the correct inscription and shout it out to open the door to the fair. Uh, was that the last episode where the kid got stuck in this? Down the tunnel to the quicksand bog. I, 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 I forgot the last the name itself. I was completely out of stuff. But beware of the temple guards. The but that room is kind of. Uh, Find the key in the tree. And or horrible room. The jester's court. Press yourself against the Kiku, don't get out of it or don't climb up. Gain entry to the tomb of the headless king. Tomb of the headless king. This is one of my favorite designed room. I mean the way they designed it, like you put in the skull and that opens the door and the skull kind of lights up inside the head. Down the stairs and back to the temple gate. The choices are yours. Marble armrest. Oh, Pat got stuck in the quicksand. Thank you, Jomar. But one pendant in the Temple Games. Who's going first? I am. Very well, David. David. Curtain, give the signal. You'll race through the gates into the Temple. David and Goliath. Way towards the enormous feather. Hidden inside the Temple are Temple Guards assigned to protect three specific rooms. You can trade your pendant for an extra life. Dude, one pendant is like so... You'll be taken out of the Temple. I mean, it's like... Terrace's turn. 30% chance chances of winning you reach the feather all of the doors of the temple will instantly unlock and the temple guards will vanish return through the gates with the enormous feather handsomely and rewarded in three minutes you'll both be handsomely rewarded and here's how first you get a bicycle Magnus, 26 inch boys what in the world this is tough with 15 feet Shimano index yeah shape. that's why it's called legends of the hidden temple people who go through this and come out are legends of course legends is the legend of the day or whatever exciting kids software wild educational programs and challenging games from philips media if you can bring the feather out of the temple before the main stuff you both be going to roseland ranch roseland ranch stanford ville ranch resort the whole family will enjoy horseback riding swimming entertainment game room and winter activities year-round fun from roseland ranch all right david let's get into position go there he goes hey let's go david come on boy d for david uh, he's clueless. That opens it right away. <gasps> what a start. Oh, he just Whoa! right on, knocks it over. I, he's gonna head him down to the tomb of the head list. I was not sure if that was a proper jump, but he managed to kind of <laughs> he's scared him. Temple guard, they're now without a pendant. Next time he's taken, it'll be turned for Carissa. Pull all the vines. Find the head, get it, get that head, put it on. 
what else do fall in from that from the top i think ribs skeleton i don't know i, I this guy has made it almost half the way there he goes right into the dark forest oh that's a weird way of going through pass to the ball don't don't no bro don't do that why would you search i mean he was looking for the half i mean shortcut Oh no, girl, no, come on! No, don't go up! No! Die. What are you go, doing? Go, 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 go! She's got a path up. I love the way that is glowing, but you go. got to go. Why are you so slow? Into the dark forest. She doesn't have a pendant. Very tentative. Very tentative. Get out of there. Confused. Looking left wall. and right. Pass through the wall. It's half bust already. I don't know how half. Get up there. Get up. So oh, why are these girls so slow? I see this in every episode. These girls are so slow. There she goes. Go. Oh, my BP. No. Who is she looking at for guidance, man? Is there someone who's helping her out? She's looking at the camera all the time. Just two rooms away, man. Go, Clarissa, go. Someone did. Did you hear someone yelling? Oh, there you go, David. Yeah. Get the head on. Come on, Clarissa. You got time. Come on. Hurry, come on. <coughs> oh my God. Go. Hurry. In the room of the ancient warriors. Get in there. Put first one lucky. First one lucky. Try the other one. Oh, this is so cool. It's always the last one. One more away. Go. She's there. Sixteen seconds. Yeah. Go up. What is she? <coughs> Why is she so slow? Get the feather. Get the feather. Oh my God. Get the feather. Go. Six seconds left. At least. She make it out. Yes, she can. She can. She can. No. No. Oh no. Time, but she did a great job. David did a great job. Oh. Oh. I mean, don't laugh. I mean, there seems to be a pattern to this. I mean, women. I mean, I'm not generalizing all the women again. Please don't attack me. But some of the girls are so slow. They don't know what's at stake, or I don't know. She was so slow to start off with, and I mean, let's take a run before we get into the call. I'm, I'm gonna like. See, so slow here, here. You know why did she go up for the first reason? That room was okay. Again, this room again. So slow. See again. That's like three, five seconds. Again here. Get up there. Get up. Climb up that ladder. So terribly slow. There she goes. Go, go up. No, go up. See again. Why is she wasting so much time? It's so clear. It's a clear path you have to go. Oh my God. Ah, uh, poor David, man. If I was David, I would be so infuriated. I would be so angry with, with her, like. And this is the rude part. I don't know if this is planned by the crew or something, but it's always the third one. It's always the third one. I don't remember any episode where it's the first or second one, but it's always the third one that comes that opens the door. And even here. Look at Kurt for he's like whoa, whoa. Get the feather. She's got the feather. Go. Six seconds left. Will she make it out? Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, she ran out of time, but she did a great job. David did a great job.
if she was only quick probably 10 seconds more probably 10 seconds just 10 seconds or even 8 seconds she would have easily made it uh if i was david i would not even talk to her i would not even look at her for what she has done but that's okay that's part of life but i mean come on man so close yet so far okay let's talk to people i'll be waiting for you guys in the meantime let's read out some of the chat it was her hesitance that cost him the trip to roseland rich where was the third temple card i have no clue craig i'm sure they still would have won if they only tried the first armor instead of all three yeah but that's again that it's it's the odds she tried the third one didn't open i don't know how that works uh, I'll, i'll probably ask the people okay this run could have easily been another win david got off to a quick start until he got taken out in the dark forest carissa took over but hesitated a bit on the ladder leading to the shrine of the silver monkey once she put the monkey together she just had to pull down the right armor in the room of the ancient warriors to reach the artifact she grabbed it with 9 seconds left but from that point there just wasn't enough time left to make it out ah yes do you think it would have helped if she went first well i well i don't know if that would make a difference or what not because um because there are some cuz one of the things that that really makes a difference is speed. Yeah. Cool. Because it's it cuz the really tough part is knowing who's the faster runner of the team and that's what you really got to communicate with each other on these teams. Was I I yeah. but I don't think that whether she was a faster runner or not was the problem the problem was like I said she hesitated on that ladder. Yeah. And plenty of plenty of hesitation like throughout the run she was like looking left and right towards the cameraman looking for prompting so that was so the ladder was not the only spot yeah i mean some of the runs by some of the girls are terrible man they costed a lot of temple runs do you think this comes up as one of the worst in terms of a female not able to catch up with the run without uh, question i, without I don't question. know for sure but i do know this but but what the, but the carissa was lucky enough that there was there was no temple guard in either the shrine of the silver monkey or the room of the ancient warrior considering that this was a one pendant run okay where do you think the other temple guards were Yeah, I'll 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 find it for you. Well, there's only three possibilities. Yeah. Yes. Uh the secret password doesn't seem likely. Mhm. The chamber uh, doesn't seem super the chamber I guess is possible. And then there's the ledges. I think the ledges is the most likely culprit. But it I it could have been in the chamber. I don't I mean it could have been either three. I wish we could know for certain, but we will never know. for certain but i would imagine it's a, he was in the ledges or he uh, in the ledges i see according to this it, it was the ledges mm. well the the wiki again the wiki's not always right so yeah. yeah pitch black in the ledges usually that means he's hiding in there ooh good good catch usually okay yeah so that so so like the fact that they both started at the crypt was the right move yeah Cop your views um, on this. I distinctly remember this episode as a child because mm-hmm. I remember the name Carissa. Uh, first of all, Carissa was an alternate uh, in the previous tape day. Um, oh, okay. and you know that from the behind the scene video. So she was there the day or whatever the day they the previous taping day, whether that was the day before or whenever she was an alternate for that day. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if she was an alternate for this one, so um Again, like I said, the purple parrots blow it in the tiebreaker. Yeah. Two quick temple games. Um, David. T- interesting thing I'll point out about David before I bash Carissa. <laughs> uh, um, the jester's court doesn't turn doesn't uh, go to black. Doesn't turn dark when uh, he finishes it. Ooh. And when Carissa busts through the ledges, you don't hear the sound of the led of the wall breaking. Yeah. Um. Okay. So David did okay. He actually did pretty well. He got to the dark forest with 2 minutes. There That's pretty good. 
Carissa is absolutely the reason why this run... F it's not up for debate. I think she absolutely could have won if she hadn't hesitated. Now, she one thing that no one points out is she's holding her mouthpiece in her hand for... Ooh. Until she gets to the shrine. She's holding it in her hand. She's not wearing it, which I think is something is uh, maybe something that's costing her. I don't, I'm wondering if people on the site are screaming, put your mouthpiece in. Ooh. Again, not a lot of people notice that, but again, I worry about that because I don't want her breaking her teeth. Yeah. So if I were a production person, I would be screaming, put your mouthpiece in. So that may have cost her, but again, she was so slow. She was so hesitant. She hesitated in the shrine. She hesitated in the climbing up the ladder. She hesitated busting through the wall. She hesitated doing the Room of the Ancient Warriors. And I think first suit of armor, oh, the first suit of armor she tried opened the door. Oh, okay. Because if you look at it, it's angled, you can't see the door, and you kind of hear the cameraman saying, you hear the, some, the cameraman very uh, quietly saying something. I think he's saying, it's open, it's open, go, go, go. Oh, she, she, didn't, she didn't see it or didn't think she, or she thought she had to do all three suits of armors, or I don't know. I think the fir I think the third suit of armor opened the door, and you hear it, but... Uh, the other thing is, let's say, let's say, hypothetically, she does the first suit of armor and she gets the feather. She probably gets out. Can you imagine, you would have to look at this run and you would have to say, that you would have to look at this run and say, wow, this was a great run, even though Carissa absolutely is terrible. Yeah. If she, like, if she does one thing differently, she gets out with the feather. But... It's, I, I, it's kind of a good thing she didn't win, in my opinion, because, like, we would have to look at this and we would have to say that it was still a win somehow, even though she was not great. Again, which is not a commentary on her as a person, it's a commentary on how well she did in this. She probably was a very nice person. She seemed very good spirits yeah. after losing. Uh, but I think this is the only time that you get the sense that Kirk is actively angry at yeah. the contestant or actively Ooh. frustrated. Ooh. I don't think I've ever... He is screaming at her, go. Yeah. Especially when gets to the room of the ancient warriors. He's like, it's open, go, go, yeah. go. Yeah. Ooh. And he never does that. Ooh, ooh, at least ooh. he does. He does, but not to the degree of he exactly. Or it sounds like he's. It sounds like he wants to like rip his hair out or something. <laughs> he's so angry at how slow she's moving, and how much she's hesitating, which is weird because usually yeah. we feel that way, but rarely does Kirk show it. Usually yeah. he's. Oh, sympathetic. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. This is a very interesting temple run for many reasons. And one of a kind. That That's a good word.